you guys what's up josh here and i'm going live a couple of minutes early um why not i'm not gonna bother announcing these on on social media anymore so <laughs> figure might as well just go ahead and go live um oh did not mean to do that so give me just a second here i'm gonna throw do not disturb on there we go so I really want to finish this print up today. Uh, honestly, I think it's getting to almost a finish already, but you know we've we've still got a, a few little little things to render out. I'm putting a little more time into this one than than I usually do, or than I have in the past. Right, let's check. Yeah, I've got. Four hours and thirteen minutes into this so far, tracked on the uh, on the actual design. So uh, that's not counting like gathering references and all of that fun stuff. Speaking of references, I'm going to go ahead and pull up some references on my laptop over here. So things I'm going to be with so far. I really like the shape of the hands. I really like the uh, the sort of robe or not a robe. I, I was trying to give like the impression of maybe an apron that he was wearing covered in, in paint. That's, uh, I'm pretty happy with the hot coal. I might add some more texture to that. Just some, some little little textures in there um, but what I want to do is improve the lighting on the hand improve the contrast from the background to the foreground and the middle ground and then uh, maybe get some scar textures on the hands so that's the game plan for today I don't know if I'll be able to do all of that at once but we'll see Uh, if you're tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from and what the weather is like there. Uh, I'm just curious about the weather, always. Uh, so, weather in Moorhead, Kentucky today. We ended up having a severe thunderstorm this morning, which terrified both my wife and my youngest daughter. Um, yeah, that's that's always fun. Um, I do drive my wife to work whenever it's raining because the rain terrifies her. And uh, I don't judge her for it. You might notice the music is a little different today. Uh, so normally I have one artist that I listen to during these streams. And today I just have it on uh, random, basically. So let's get in here and yeah, I love my 6B pencil. Let's get in here and texture out some of these hot coals. I'm on a brand spanking new layer. Now, one thing that I've noticed about Procreate is that there's no flatten transparency up or flatten appearance option. Um, so if you have layers with blending modes and you merge into those layers with a blending mode, it changes the blending mode of the, the layer that you're merging into it. So there's no good way to uh, flatten everything as is in Procreate uh, that I'm aware of. I could be wrong if I am wrong, please. Please, please let me know because I would very much enjoy being able to uh, sorry, brain no worky at the moment. Uh, I would very much enjoy being able to flatten things in a way that looks nice <laughs> so i am going to do more texture in the coal and the hands than anywhere else for the simple fact that those are my focal points um i'm gonna leave everything else sort of loose and unfinished because that is the finish that i'm after for everything else You'll also notice that this layer is not 100% op opaque. Wow. I have, or I'm working in glazes or the equivalent of glazes at this point. 
so that I can make subtle changes and add depth and uh, slowly build forms. on multiple layers and yes this takes much longer I don't care do not care at all getting a little bit random with my marks here just because I'm adding texture I'm not concerned with super duper accuracy I just want it to look textured in a, a fun interesting way really like when uh, I can achieve sort of harsh angles inside of this coal. It looks nice. Nice, I say nice. Now I'm thinking of like ash forming on the edge of the coal where light's hitting that ash. Some places it'll form right up against the darks. In some places it'll form right up against the embers. Again, anything I can do to just push textures is fun. So epidemic sound is giving me sort of a minor key music today. It's Interesting. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it on the coals for now. I'm sure I'll come back to it, but for now, I lied. Uh, these two little pockets of ash. Now I'm going to call it <laughs> all the coal done for now. Um, I really want to work on the scars. I have added some um, some reflected light from the coal. Well, I guess the coal is a light source, not reflected light. I've added some lighting from the coal onto the hands. Um, I really want to get the, the scarred appearance on the hands. So I do have uh, just some Google references pulled up over here on, on the laptop. And scars are weird. Like, I am not 100% confident in painting them, which is sort of why I'm doing it. Um, trying to think of the best way to approach this. So scar tissue sort of wrinkles up, lightens, and then has uh, a very ridge-like texture. So I'm going to do this on a new layer, and again, uh, drop the opacity. I want to pick like a local color. And then, oh, oops, all right. Yeah, I need to redo layer opacity, go back to my color picker. What do we got? Pick a local color. And then I'm just going to lighten it using the value slider.
And the way I'm going to approach this is by first just determining the shape of the scar. So the overall shape of the scar, we'll say, is this. So I have the overall shape, and now I'm just going to color drop. Nope. And I'm just going to color drop. Playing with the threshold. I'm going to blend, blend the edges a little. So they're not so clearly defined. Now I'm going to uh, play with the blending mode. Let's see if there's anything that might work. Divide actually looks interesting. Uh, not what I'm after. Hmm. I don't want any of those blending ones. So I'm just going to leave it on normal. I'll probably lower the opacity some more. Now I'm just going to play with... Uh, much lighter colors and the pencil so if we get ridges almost random ridges hold on there is something else i want to do i want to alpha lock this so i don't want to paint outside of the scar shape so i can't paint down here but i can paint in here So I'm sort of thinking of the scars as uh, flowing lines as the wrinkles sort of merge onto each other. And sometimes they'll have little ridges and bumps. So what are your thoughts on this new Epidemic Sound playlist? I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment. I mean, it's got it's got some some good tracks in there. Okay, I am streaming and I am live. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> or at least I hope I am. Not sure if that really gives the impression of scar. Maybe I need darks in there too. Starting to feel more like a scar. A little bit. So what happens if we do go darker, maybe more saturated? So if I'm imagining light coming off of the coal, that means that each ridge of the scar would cast its own little tiny shadow behind it before it wraps toward the actual window light. I 
also have the form shadows that are being obscured a little bit by the scar shape that I put in there. So parts of this will have to be darker. I probably should have gone less saturated instead of more saturated with the shadow color, but that's okay. Hmm. I can see that looking sort of scarish. I will say it's Probably, oh, there we go. If we have more texture breaking up the ridges. That's much more passable. Yep. So what's challenging me right now is thinking like, is this how lion decker would do it because that was that was like the the goal with this initially is to study lion decker's anatomy and techniques but I, don't know, I think i think at this point it's something that's becoming uniquely not lion decker <laughs> so i don't i don't know if i should even worry about that at this point Yeah, that looks much more like scar tissue. Okay. I think I think that's good for that um section of the hand so all right no scars well light scars anyway I, I i approached this with that idea in the first place uh, at least over here no. enhanced scar textures there we go so i'm gonna turn alpha lock off get in and paint was this it I think this was it. I'm not sure. I want all of that. And again, I'm just blurring the edges so that the painting process is more fun. Well, more organic appearing. All right, so there's where I'm wanting my next scars. And I'm just going to color pick from over here. say you know we've got did i turn alpha lock back on no. all right now i have all right And my family is going to be uh, well so anyone who has been following my uh channel for some time might remember a while back that you know, around the same time we started building the new affinity shop my my family 
like I, I've been working on repairing my credit <laughs> for years now. Mm -hmm. Um, and my family was finally mortgage ready to build a new home during the worst time ever to try building or buying a new home. Well, at least in over 150 years. Um, so we stepped back on that for a little bit while we were building the new studio and things have been like roadblocking us from building this new home uh, basically since we were ready to start building but we finally 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 have found the property where we're going to build hopefully pending uh, an environmental review from the the contractors who will be building it um so pending that, we should hopefully be breaking ground on our new home. Like within the next month or two. Um, and that is a very, very exciting. I want the darker color. Oh, no one is ringing. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am. I am returned, which I, I guess I didn't really go anywhere. Let's see. Let's see if I pop this back down to fifty percent. 
give or take. How's that look? Uh, let's lower that a little more. I think it was 20 or 30. I would say that's passable. I want to pull up some more references. See what we got. So burn scars, like fresh burn scars. Uh, looks like whether there's soot involved or not, they do have a bit of blackening. So what I'm going to do is select the hands I'm all right with it getting a little sloppy in the selection phase. Got my new layer. Again, lower the opacity. I really like the flicks. Brush. But that looks like it's going to be a little too messy this time. What do we have? Uh, what's this random stuff? Ashi granola. Sounds interesting. Huh. You kind of like that brush. I don't want to use it for this, but I do like it. to my stream list just because this is getting a bit repetitive I think and and I really like some Hatami Tsunami yeah sorry I had to switch that <laughs> so now I'm I went and bought a bunch of snake stamps because it was getting very and all of the max packs. Ooh, gutter pump. That just sounds fun. Yes, okay. I lost my selection. Where'd my selection go? There we go. 
Now I've got my gutter pump. Lowered my opacity. Got my brush. Is this doing what I want it to do, though, is the question. I don't know. Let's deselect and take a look. So without with without with. So I do like the extra darkness, but not quite that much. We'll we'll try it here. Let's get in with a smaller brush on a new layer and just get some actual Nasty textures on there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I needed something smaller, more refined this time. I'm going to go straight black. I know that's a no no, but I don't care. <laughs> It's almost like dry brushing. I like it. Almost like dry brushing. It's given a much more splotchy texture than dry brushing does, but it's a good texture. I, I, I quite like it. And since I'm on a layer with stuff and things, let's, uh, let's increase the lightness and saturation. Shift the color a tad. Put some actual paint splatters on this. Uh... Apron back here. I'm starting to like it more. I'm starting to like it more. Ooh, I'm tracking my time. Oops. Oh. So yes, I do indeed track my time. Uh, for most things anymore, because I'm curious about where my time goes. And I use an app called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L, that uh, makes it really easy to do. I just want to get some more more textures into the background here even if they're abstracty
blur those a little. We look a little too in focus. There we go. Just lightly blur them this direction too. Ooh, what's this green cloud? Looks rather nice. Let's make it big. Okay, so one thing that I like to do towards the end is just play with a saturation layer. And I usually like turn this way down. <laughs> so the color you pick on a saturation layer doesn't matter. Just the, uh, I'm sorry, just the saturation. So fully saturated, unsaturated. So let's. That's not doing what I want it to. That's also not doing what I want it to. Oh, no, it was. So I have a lot of medium grays in here that can't really get saturated, which means I need to be very careful about the opacity of this layer. We'll do a, a thin wash of a very saturated purple. I really want to push the saturation in this coal and on the fingertips if I can. You just have to be careful because if you saturate one area, you can make other areas around it, including what you're trying to uh, what you're trying to make more rich and colorful, make it look very dull. So no saturation with saturation. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. It's literally desaturating everything. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Luminosity, basically just the values. Again, I'll, I'll do this to lighten certain areas. Say I want this silhouette to read stronger, I will lighten some of the colors on the silhouette like along the edge and then fade it off Overlay. Oh, there it is.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna call that call that a a done deal. Oh. No, no, I'm not. Okay, now I'm calling it done. <laughs> I just really wanted that to stand out a bit more. We're done. We're done for today. Um, I actually have a lot of clients to draw for and some consults. We check in on. All right. Oh, this was this was a fun one to play with different rendering techniques and really figure out how to separate different layers of the design into into something that reads immediately and beyond that just finding a way to uh to really push sorry my i keep spotting things but I put my signature on it, so I'm done with it. So even if I spot things, I'm not fixing them. <laughs> oh, well. Um, it was fun to push myself to try different techniques to separate layers of the design 
emphasize the focal point and practice hands because holy crap hands are hard uh, the first time i worked on this design i thought i was going to quit <laughs> but you know address your weaknesses don't hide from them so that's what i tried to do here and on that note thank you for watching thanks for tuning in and don't forget you can buy prints for my print shop including this one soon i'll have it posted hopefully by the end of the day oh but yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next week probably working on something different well definitely working on something different this is done yeah all right take it easy everybody keep drawing painting writing singing and it's in your hearts out and uh talk to you next week <laughs>